Hi everybody, in this video we are going to see how to use Photoshop and create a menu for Clint. In the last V3 version of uh, Clint, there is a great feature and this feature helps us to import a Photoshop file. This is only available for the Pro version. We are going to use this. So, uh, first of all we are going to create our first project, the project with Clint. And the most important here is to see which aspect ratio we use and what are the size width and height of our project. So let's put a name menu for Clint. So we have created now our uh, Clint project. We are going to um, Photoshop to create our menu file. First of all we create a file new. We could put a name Clint menu. Um, we put here the same width and the same height of our Clint project. Now we are going to import our pictures. To import our pictures, we are going to open them. File, open. We are going on our Clint Photoshop menu and we are going to fetch these three files. Great. First of all, we are going to, this is big pictures, you know, we are going to change the image size just to fit the uh, clean project. So we are going to get um, 970 for this picture, uh, the same size for this one, image size 970, and for this one also the same size 970 now we can make command uh, apple a apple c to copy this file and to put this file here uh, with um, a v a, a palm apple v we do it for this also and we do it for the C picture also. Oh, maybe we 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 done it. Um, the mountain picture. Great. We have now three layers here. We are going now to create our cover menu. To do that, we are going to uh, verify that in our view we have the um, rulers. So there is no rulers. So you can display the rules so you go to view rulers i need a uh, vertical rules so i'm going to put two rulers just to divide my picture in three uh, parts now i go to the uh, mountain the first layer here the mountain and i'm going to create to to fetch this and i'm going to copy this i'm going to edit uh, copy and I am going to create a new layer and copy this in the new layer. So I'm going to I go in this new layer and I'm going to edit past. So I have pasted uh, this uh, left uh, part of the picture on my new layer. I'm going to do the same thing for the other pictures. I go in my um, another mountain but the the C picture, so I need to display only the C picture. I'm going to copy the middle part of my C pictures. So I click on Edit, Copy. I create a new layer, and I am going to copy this on the new layer. Great. I need now to do the same thing with my uh, country uh, picture and this is the, the right part so I select this part I copy it and I create a new layer to paste it great I have now possibly to create the menu cover so I am going to um, display only 
the parts of the picture I have uh, done. So um, this. So now I am going to create a new layer uh, to make here um, just um, a special thing. Uh, to so I'm going here, great, and I am going here to put some uh, the opacity at fifty just 55 great I'm going to do the same thing here with another layer so I take this right like this and I choose this thing the black is on the left so I can go start from here and I um, I click on the, on the shift uh, uh, this on um, oh this is a mistake great and I mm, can uh, change the opacity to um, a bit less once this cover menu is has been created we are going to save it as an independent JPEG file we are going to save it for the web well or a PNG file this is the same look at the size of the image which is the same size of our client project and we uh, click on save we put it on the we could use it at the um, um, menu cover menu client Photoshop menu right great right now I can throw it away well, I can put all these layers away like this. I can throw it on a dustbin, this also, and this also. Now I go to fetch my mm, cover menu, open, cover menu here, Apple C, and I bring it here I put this um, bag, this background menu at the top because when you will import this PSD file on Clint, Clint will keep the the layer organization. So the first thing I would display in my menu is the cover menu, the cover menu. Now we are going to create three text chapters. Now we are going to import the chapters we have created for this menu and so we can go on file open and we have created already the text chapters we open it how does the text chapter is built we have two layers the first layer is the background and the second layer is the name of our chapters we are going to select them, two ones, edit, copy, merge, great, and we are going to edit, uh, past, uh, we are going to create a new layer and copy um, this in our layer, great. So now we can go here, we can change uh, the name of the C and we can put the country. Oh, this is not good. Country, great. Edit, copy, merge. We go here, create a new layer and we make edit past great we put this here and now the last chapter text we uh, change here the country on uh, mountain mountain and we make edit copy merge we create a new layer, create a new layer 
here and we uh, make edit past great and we put the mountain here we could uh, see if everything is well uh, aligned that's great and so now we can file save as this is clint menu psd and we can make si save with the layers it's important as you uh, click on this layers to keep them on clint great well now we can go on our clint project and here we have only one sequence home sequence by importing a psd file a new sequence will be created with all the pictures and each picture by a uh, for a layer let's go file import file we are going on a clint menu we have a clint menu psd file you look at that we say insert great well this is great we have now our clint menu let's see of here we have all the pictures that have been imported and now if we double click here on the sequence we have our sequence we have the three by uh, the cover menu the three pictures and the three titles